Where did he go? Where did he go? <laughs> I always like this intro. It's kind of cool. Hi guys and welcome to Assassin's Creed. This is a game I have not played since the late 2000s. Sometime around 2008 or 9. I, I don't remember. I was trying to go through my journals to figure out when I played this last. And the last time I played this game was on PS2, I think, or PS3, one of the two, I can't remember. Um, so I'm looking forward to this game. This used to be one of my favorite games. I only played it once. I beat the game, and I never really touched it after that. <laughs> but we're gonna just jump right in. I already have a profile set up. I had to mess with the controls because the controls were balls. I mean, it wanted like, it, it was ridiculous on how bad the controls were. So we're gonna take a look real fast and make sure my everything saved that I had. It looks like it did. At switch, blah, blah, blah. So we're just gonna jump right back in. Hopefully everything's cool. Not all mod it on the fly. All right, so we're gonna start a new game. I haven't played this game in a long time, so if I struggle, guys, it's that's the reason. What the? Oh yeah. I applied my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That this also was a chasing after wind. Very much wisdom. Okay, that's how you jump. Fight me, huh? Where'd you go? <laughs> I'm just punching everywhere now. Just fucking throw it around my just fucking beat him up. Okay. <laughs> I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now now I For a game that was made in two thousand seven or eight. You looks pretty good. Me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? <laughs> we know who you are, what you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. Just a heads up, guys. There are no subtitles for this game, so hopefully everything is, like, coherent enough to understand. Please. Fuck you, Lucy. And fuck you, Doctor. I'm busy talking to my people here. So there are no I subtitles. To lie down, Desmond. So uh, just keep that in mind. 
just try to listen as best you can. A wise decision. Whoa. Where am I? Hello, You're Lucy. Inside the animals, I think that's Lucy. I'm not sure. Is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three right, dimensions. That's Lucy. I don't genetic remember. Genetic memory. Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. What if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? I would say you're Genetic full of shit, memory, but if you will. you're actually sort Migration, of right. Hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. Hmm. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. All right, Altair, let's get the show on the road. One. Data stream unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject 17. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Hmm. Instructions will follow shortly. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. The enemy. Give me one second to fix something, guys. My little uh OBS is playing noises outside my headphones. That should fix it, but I'm not 100% sure until it pops back up again. This utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. <laughs> ah. Unloading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. Good. Use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. differentiates between two fundamental actions. 
low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Yeah, I can punch, grab, something while jumping. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Good. Using your legs button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. Well done. The Animus will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Now, select your hidden blade. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. Man, I haven't played this in so long I forgot how that you could do that. You saw what happened here. Concealed blades, I forgot about them. The dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time socially unacceptable. will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Why not just kill him? I guess because they want me to know. Assassins! Stop him! The social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. You'll never get away! Ah! Huh. You're mine! Why don't you come out? Excellent. The line of sight has been broken. Now, run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Good. Your social status indicates that you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. This is pointless. This is pointless. Well done. The soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. I'm not anonymous, I'm Steve. Excellent. <laughs> Excellente Picante, dude. Build your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Oh, dude, I have to like hide in one of those, huh? <sighs> oh boy. Let us continue with the demonstration of blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Good. Now that you are fully synced, a new ability is available to you. 
Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Well done. Remember, Eagle Vision will only be available once you are something. fully synced. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The Creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life or by respecting the Creed. You have successfully completed the tutorial. The most stable memory block will now be loaded. <laughs> right. Wait! There must be another way. This one need not die. <laughs> An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task, only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. Damn, off I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. Okay, you hold down the that button. This is very difficult. And I don't think you can actually change the camera. Oh, that's how you change the camera. Yeah, this is old school right here. Normally you would you this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Saab, his life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He 
stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy, and here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. What if there's a way to actually kill a few of them? I don't have any ranged weapons, so I can't. I was hoping there would be some way to cross over. <laughs> the one thing I don't miss about Assassin's Creed games is the uh, climbing and the uh, parkour sometimes. Especially in, uh, um, hmm. the third and, or no, second and Brotherhood. Huh. And Revelations too, but, uh, the Ezio games, oof. A lot more climbing. So these games are straight through the main storyline. I'm not gonna do any side missions really too much. Not, not on these games. Um, just gonna burn right through as much of them as I can. Altair, you've returned. Raoul, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, sir. Buried in his books, as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. They're going the wrong way. You'd think it'd be this way. But there's nothing here. Oh, 
There it is. Yeah, it was up on that ridge. That's why I couldn't find it over across the gorge. at last. Abbas, where are the others? Mm. Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loyal to share the glory. Silence is just another form of a sin. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. It is an honor. The master waits within. Altair, Master. Come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. Not another word. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go and... No! You do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master! We are under attack! Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village! So he seeks a battle? Very well. I'll not deny him. Go! Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forward again to a more recent one. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most, but not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish.
bitch out of my way. Atayer, come. Al Mualim is not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. What would cause him to run like that? You have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins! Your stores are hardly endless! How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good! Then they shall have it all around! Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear! Go to God! Oh, the leap of faith, that's right. I, uh, oh, oh, my leg! Oh, oh, my leg! Quiet, or the Templars will hear us. I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies.
how tedious this climbing in this game can be. The only game I know that had climbing like this was Nathan Drake. From recent memory. I mean, besides the Assassin's Creed games before. But they, the controls were easier in most of the newer Assassin's Creed games. So. Oh. is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair, all of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our <coughs> ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenet, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let <sighs> the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you! I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. <laughs> He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Fighting over basically how you're treating Desmond, I guess. That's a better place I could listen. Man, I can't even change my clothes. Stupid. <laughs> no case. This isn't my decision. 
I don't set the deadline, but I'm smart enough not to challenge them. Do you want to wind up like Layla? I know the accident has everyone on edge. Which is why Who the fuck is Layla? That's I never figured that out. If you push him too hard, he'll shut down, and then we'll have nothing. We have nothing now. But we will. We just need to have a little faith. Fine. But I want you thinking of ways to improve his staying power. We can't afford to stop every time the man breaks a sweat. It's bad enough we have to trace through all of these useless memories. I'll do what I can. Go oh, toilet, toilet. Immersive? No, no. Ah, oh, damn. Can't flush it. Can't use it. Not worth my time. That's a hell of a lot of toilet paper, though. One on the top, two on the side. A real mad toilet when you got that many rolls at your disposal. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Can I kill him? No, no spells killed. I want to go back in. It sucks not to be all tire right now. <laughs> At this point. Damn it, they locked the door. Go to sleep. Not like you can do anything here. Prison is a prison, no matter what how, what the bars technically are made out of. In this case, it's solid concrete. <sighs> Gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You've been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well, it seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and, well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy. And it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it, then? What if I heard this <laughs> guy's that voice? would be telling. It's bugging the hell out of me. I'm, it's gonna bug me all freaking game. I think I've heard him anime or something. You know, I'm gonna look it up real fast, guys. And share my findings, of course. It's a famous voice actor. Start your memory already! <laughs> In a minute, buddy. Nolan North, okay. Throwing soldiers from roof. I am alive. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? 
you do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you've brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No. Not yet, at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. You bad luck. I'll track your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. I got nothing. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The assassin has <laughs> many Damn. tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. going on? What He's going to run into someone. Uh! <laughs> huh. Where's the benches at? Oh. What is that over there? This collectible life. I know what I saw. 
Gosun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. Four. What is but four? What is but four? Please, just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I... I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. What you're doing? Don't do that again. If I need that man thinking. Be more careful, I beg of you. <laughs> <laughs> Keep falling.
that sure to lead them up. You'll stop. Soon, all your eyes will be open to the truth. We stand upon the threshold between this world and a new one. A better place where all might live as equals. But men like Al Mualim would see this dream destroyed. I see the way you look at me. Hear the things you say. A traitor? I'm not a traitor. It's Al Mualim who's betrayed us. I see the way you look at me. Hear the things you say. A traitor? I'm not a traitor. It's Al Mualim who's betrayed us. Two days attack was but the first. And more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf. See through his lies. Follow him to its good place and beat him until he speaks. in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Look how accurate this game is. is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. His teeth are so brown. <laughs> Gross, dude. Look like you stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent, to renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart, but truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. You did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. 
Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? <laughs> I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Look how holding his sword. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Here you go, more tutorials. That was button 9, how do I... You must be busy. I understand. You must be busy. I understand. It takes time to draw another blade. Ensure your first attack is also your last. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. You must be busy. I understand. Focus on your target. Let nothing distract you. What the fool? <laughs> he must be late for something. Yeah, for a very important date. I'm late. I'm late.
countering a strong attack will leave your enemy vulnerable. Not quite. Dude, how many viewpoints are there? All I want to do is... Whatever. Screw it, I don't care. I just want to freaking... Don't put the motion to the fire! 
I was defending myself. I ain't no murderer. Don't do that again. Don't do that again. What? <sighs> Don't do what? Tall structures to gain a bird's eye view. Damascus. I'll see to it that we hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. Who could have done such a thing? Defense! 
It seems a tragedy. But I say, this is an honor. You are right. Which is why you have come to me. For what we believe in. There is no greater glory than you. There is anywhere. That won't happen here. Praise be Salah Hadin. He has found the strength to stand in defense of our great civilization. Which is why you make no mistake. It is our very existence we are fighting for. The infidel king would see us all. Yeah, man, look at how high this is, mate. Children of God, never finding any Please, you're hurting me. I've done nothing wrong. to be a true hero. Weird. Anyway. Fires of war come through the land, and thousands of lives are lost in its defense. You are it seems a tragedy, <laughs> but I say this is an honor to die in service to God. Fighting for what we believe. What is that man thinking? I'll have your hand for that. No reason to stand here. Leave. Do something. Please! 
You are filth! Stop it, please! You're hurting me! Dirty thief! I'll have your hand for that! Your face is a You will die in here! when you get jumped by multiple Body opponents in this game. Structures to gain a bird's eye view. They're still in my presence? That will cost you your life! Altair, it is good to see you. And in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. Now tell me where to find him. Surely you remember how to track an enemy. Of course. Learn where he will be and when. But that sort of work is best left for. I understand. Go and search the city. Determine what he's planning and where he works. Preparation makes the victor. What can you tell me of him? Tamir makes his living as a black market merchant, so the soup district should be your destination. I would suggest you seek out the following places. A small soup northeast of here, the madrasa to our east, and in the gardens north of the Spiro. Focus on these places and he should become well known to you. I assume you want me to return to you when this is done. Yes, come back to me. I'll give you Al-Mualim's marker, and you'll give us Tamir's life. 
As you wish. Remember, Atayer, if you find yourself in trouble and the city turned against you, return to the Bureau. I can shelter you from the storm. Be warned, though. If your enemies are too close, my door will remain closed until you've lost them. Do you understand? Yes. To bring the enemy inside would compromise the Brotherhood. Very well. Off you go. I'll have your help for your that! Somebody help me! Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Make room. I should. I think I have to like 
<laughs> unlocked them with cute uh, with uh like rooftops and so forth viewpoints I, I remember having trouble a long time ago the first start when i played first place game like um, i didn't know where i was going until i started doing unlocking viewpoints i can't i i vaguely remember having this problem before god i feel like having nachos i think i have some too jeez so Maybe after this. It's almost that time anyway. Medications in the mail. Very nice. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. To deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. Ooh. between Damascus and Jerusalem. But recent business have been poor. It seemed there were none in Jerusalem who wanted what he had, fruits and vegetables from nearby farms. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. What do you want? Ah, oh, hey. 
quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production oh, of many to get out of my body. Weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me. He's it caressing my soul. <laughs> no, stop, listen! Not Salaheddin. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I have told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. <laughs> oh. Such a strange world. What is he not in mind? What's wrong with Why would anyone do that? I don't understand what he's trying to accomplish. Altair, welcome! Welcome! I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Peasant, before I make you. Strange, I've never seen someone do that before. That will cost you your life. Much known people. Don't see what I have to ask. You are you are never finding anything useful in the other merchants. Some after pay for your sins. Yeah! <laughs> 
I didn't forgot people will walk up to you and beg like that. <laughs> I was like, how do I get her out of my way? She's annoying me. I don't know why I can't do anything. Okay. Whatever. Solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? 
I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? Ooh, spit you on him. Disrespect me. Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop. Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No. Stop. Stop. You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me. <laughs> No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Sit down and next. And and holding. No, please don't please. Just a few coins, please. A few coins. All I ask is for a few coins. Oh shit! Oh damn it, I screwed up. I accidentally killed her. She got in my way. I wanted, I was just trying to get past her, you know, press the button for the, uh, to go like this. now my friend you'll not profit from suffering any longer you think me some petty death dealer suckling at the breast of war a strange target don't you think why me when so many others do the same you believe yourself different then oh but I am for I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit just like my brothers brothers ah but he thinks I act alone I am but a piece, a man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Get me, guys! Climb up this wall! Well, they probably could. No, they wouldn't care. Get 
You have rescued to pass on. Keep looking, he can't be far. Don't see Oh crap. Okay, they throw rocks at you. I have to definitely get used to doing all this again. 
but... Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al-Molin. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Ugh. Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave it at that tonight. I will come back tomorrow night to play a little more. Hopefully kill a couple more guys and um, get as far as we can in the Assassin's Creed. So we're going to probably catch up again at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, Wednesday. So I'll see you then. You guys take care now and peace out.